Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin as we're heading into the weekend. I wish you a great start to the weekend. And um, yeah, I think we are gonna see a little bit of corrective price action probably over the weekend. Wanna give you my best, yeah, my best guess of the microstructure here at the moment on the Bitcoin chart. Um, the price has pretty much formed a small double bottom together with yesterday's low. I mean, we've had here this swing low today and yesterday's low both testing this trend line from above. What kind of trend line is that? Let's quickly go to the Bitcoin daily chart because here you can see that this is the trend line from the overall range, the overall price range that started in March. Yeah, So we had this breakout to the upside and then a retest of the trend line from above. Um, yeah, I mean, I highlighted to you in the last video that to really um, let's say confirm further, yeah, that this fourth wave pullback has started in white or that the wave two pullback has started in blue, I need to see a break below yesterday's low. So that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, we formed the double bottom. So I will not rule out further upside extensions or a little bit more price action above the trend line for now. But this is um, now what we just need to be watching. All I can share with you at the moment is that the move down still looks like a three wave move, right? So that's not clearly bearish yet. Had the move down been a five wave move, it would be more clearly bearish, but it's not. It's, it's three waves down. And then it looks a little bit as if this is a corrective rally that's unfolding right now, which I'm labeling as wave B. So assuming the move down might have been an A wave, first wave of a correction. The move up could now be a B wave. Now, wave B might have bottomed absolutely, right? It's just that from experience, I can tell you that these double bottom structures tend to be B waves. And if we now see a bit of a rally, it could be wave C of B. At least that is one possible interpretation, right? This means that we might go a little bit higher than that A wave or sort of end in that area before we go down in wave C. Um, idea is though that this C could have been an A wave B wave, okay, maybe it's topped already, but might extend a bit, then a C wave down. That gives us a larger three wave move. Then we have to pay attention to this area here, which is currently located between 64,278 and 66,990. This is just another micro support area. It's just a micro pivot, I would call it. There is some structural support that's supporting this as well. You know, around 65K, um, maybe just a little bit higher than that, between 65 and 66K. These previous swing lows, they can act as support together with these Fibonacci levels. And this is the area where I would watch then for a larger bounce potentially. That could then be another B wave. We have to pay attention to the structure of that rally then particularly. If it's corrective, we are watching for one more low in wave C of four. And this is how it could over the coming weeks um, yeah, move down. Obviously, US election coming up, um, so or ongoing <laughs> rather. So there, you know, there could be um, a bit of a catalyst there that will send the price overall in more volatile waves around, getting tossed back and forth a little bit. But overall, this is a bullish scenario. Yeah, as you might know if you you know if you watched previous videos where I covered the daily chart. All I'm saying is due to price action today, maybe the pullback has become a little bit more likely that we're already in the fourth wave or in this wave two correction, which is just a correction of the rally that we've seen from the, well, September low and the October lows, yeah. Um, but that then, then the price could use those Fibonacci support levels as a jump off point to start the next larger rally. So. I would see this entire move down as a range. Um, what we can say is that key support for the white count, which is a fourth wave pullback, is the 61.8 retracement. That's at 59.8K. Below that level, it's more clearly the blue count with key support at 53.7K. And this is all a range only below 53.7K, the direct move to the upside is likely not gonna happen. So these are the support levels that are relevant for the idea that a larger degree fourth wave bottomed in August. 
So below that support area, below 53.7K, I have to assume that this is not the case. We're extending down lower, but we talk about that tomorrow a little bit more on the daily chart. Here, I think in the short term, yeah, we might go a little higher, get a little bit of a bounce there, see where it takes us. But for now, no clear setup for higher here. No one, two setup or anything. You know, had this move up been a five wave move, it would be more clearly bullish in the short term, but it's been a three wave move, a slightly lower low, maybe on some exchanges, double bottom certainly, and that's just not, yeah, there's no upset momentum really, but if there is, then it's probably the C wave. So not much going on there. Really in summary, not much happened today. There was a, a bit of a bounce, a move down. The daily chart not affected at all. A little bit up and down on the one hour chart. That was it pretty much. We start. We, we ended the day where we started it. You know? It's a pretty meaningless day actually. But I still, um, because of that, because the market had a chance to break out to the upside after pulling back in three waves yesterday and it failed, I prefer to show you um, how a move to the downside would look like yeah so that gives you an update i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter you can find the links in the description if you're interested in the membership and joining the community um, feel free to check out the links in the description on sunday again we are running our member live stream uh, it's going to be on Sunday at 5 p.m. UTC. Please make sure that uh, you know that the time has changed uh, in some countries. So make sure that you know where you are in terms of uh, UTC. Um, and yeah, then there will be updates throughout the weekend as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.